Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my first proposal for this Halloween. It's a broken doll makeup. Uh, easy to do, just with some um, body painting products. So it's for all of you that don't want to spend loads of time searching for costumes or don't have loads of time to play with different materials. I hope you enjoyed and I'll leave you to the tutorial. Bye! To start with, we're gonna map the shape we're gonna use as a normal part. So we're gonna do the makeup as a normal beauty makeup. I'm using a flesh color pencil and as you can see I'm only mapping the shape. We are now gonna paint the rest of the face and neck with some white body painting color. This is gonna give us a porcelain effect. Depending on the product, you might want to do a few layers to have a good color. In this case, I think I did three or four layers, one on the top of another. Just let it dry and do another layer. Now, on the part we are gonna do a um, normal makeup, I'm gonna apply Studio Fix by MAC uh, in number NT25. So, after foundation, I'm gonna conceal the under eyes area. And Utilizzo now I'm Let's gonna skate apply a primer on my eyes. This is Let's Su Skate Valpebra. Primer from MAC. Uh, I forgot points. to record the part of the eye. I basically did a normal beauty makeup. I applied the pink eyeshadow on the mobile eyelid and then a brown color in the crease and the dark purple in the outside corner. In the inner waterline I put a white pencil and now I'm sticking some falsies. On the top I applied iconic lashes from House of Lashes and at the, bottom, at the bottom some other falsies. I'm gonna set all the makeup in place. I'm gonna Studio di colori, Fix Powder by MAC and now I'm chiaro, gonna take a lilac okay. eyeshadow and I'm gonna contour the cheekbone. I'm using a lilac color because okay. I wanna Bravo. take uh, I wanna keep all the look really dolly and now I'm gonna darken it with a purple eyeshadow and then apply just a pinky shade in the center of the cheeks and I'm gonna apply some more pink and a little bit of highlighter on the top of the cheeks. For the lips I'm gonna apply NYX Liquid Sweat in the color Amethyst, which is this really beautiful purple tint. And obviously I'm just gonna apply it on the half part of the beauty makeup. I'm gonna give some shading as well on the white part, just to make it more three-dimensional. And I'm applying a grayish browny eyeshadow on the hollows of the cheeks, under the jawlines, on the neck as well, a little bit, into the temples and now we move to the eyes. I'm gonna apply white pencil in the inner waterline and a little bit of greyish eyeshadow in the crease and underneath the eyes, just to let it pop. Now a little bit of mascara and it's time for the cracks. I'm using a MAC body painting color on a MAC brush 210, uh, which is the eyeliner brush. It's a very thin eyeliner brush. You wanna use something very, very small and thin to have more precise effect. So I'm gonna define the edges of the uh, beauty part. And you don't want any perfect edges. All the edges need to be irregular because when something breaks, it's never gonna be regular, of course. And after finishing this process, I'm gonna paint some cracks here and there where I want. So I'm gonna color it in the middle with some black and then I'm gonna extend the cracks farther on the face so I do this crack on the forehead and then this other crack on the side of my face another crack on the chin
and a massive crack on the cheek. I'm gonna color everything in black and as we did until now we're gonna extend the corners to make the crack more realistic. To give continuity to the work obviously you wanna paint also some cracks on the neck. To give more dimension to the cracks I'm highlighting them with some white on the edges and also on the side of the cracks. This is gonna make all the work look more 3D. And with this you got the finished look. If you liked the video please thumb it up, share it on your social, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not and follow me also on the other media you can find in the end of this video. Thanks a lot for watching, I'll see you to the next one. Bye!